Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the summary of incision CPTs for musculoskeletal system. Here we will be discussing the incision CPTs of all joints that are included in the musculoskeletal system. So first of all, what is incision? Incision is a surgical cut made in skin or flesh. Surgical opening or surgical cut. So here, when it comes to CPTs, incision is broadly categorized into five main types. CPTs of incision and drainage, which include deep abscess and hematoma and infected bursa. Next is incision into bone cortex. The next is orthotomy. Next is tenotomy. And the next, finally, fasciotomy. So these are the areas that we will cover in each and every joint. Now first coming to incision and drainage. For incision and drainage and for bone cortex, incision into bone cortex, these are the various CPTs of various joints. So for incision and drainage of shoulder, for deep abscess or hematoma, you need to report 23030. And for infected bursa, you need to report 23031. And for insertion into bone cortex for shoulder region, you need to report 23035. Whereas for the region of upper arm and or elbow area, for incision and drainage, in order to treat deep abscess or hematoma, you need to report 23930. And for infected bursa, you need to report 23931. And for bone cortex, you need to report 23935. And for the region of forearm and or wrist, for deep abscess and hematoma, you need to report 25028. And for infected bursa, you need to report 25031. And for insertion into bone cortex, in order to treat osteomyelitis of bone, you need to report 25035. And for pelvic or hip joint, the CPT for incision and drainage to treat deep abscess or hematoma is 26990. And in order to treat infected bursa, it is 26991. And for incision into bone cortex to treat osteomyelitis, it is 26992. And when it comes to femur or knee joint area, for deep abscess or hematoma or bursa, there is only one CPT. In case of knee and femur, that is 27301. And for bone cortex, for incision into bone cortex, you need to report 27303 for knee and femur. Next, coming to leg or ankle area. For treating deep abscess or hematoma, you need to report 27603. And in order to report treatment of infected bursa or incision into bursa, you need to report 27604. And for insertion into bone cortex, you need to report 27607. Finally, coming to foot, there is no CPT for deep abscess or hematoma. In order to treat deep abscess or hematoma in case of uh, foot, foot area, for infected bursa, the CPT is 28001. And for insertion into bone cortex, the CPT is 28005. Now coming to orthotomy. Orthotomy is nothing but insertion or opening into joint. Ortho means joint, otomy means opening. So opening up of joint. It includes exploration, drainage or removal of foreign, bo foreign body. So these are included in the CPT when never performed. Exploration, drainage and or removal of foreign body. Now coming to the orthotomy CPTs of various joints. In order to report orthotomy of glenohumeral joint, you need to report 23040. For acrimoclavicular or sternoclavicular, for both these joints, the CPT is 23044. So orthotomy of acroclavicular, you need to report 23044. And similarly, for orthotomy of sternoclavicular, you need to report 23044. And for orthotomy of elbow, you need to report 2400. For elbow, orthotomy of elbow with capsular excision for capsular release, you need to report 24006. 
for rich area either it is radiocarpal or midcarpal you need to report 25040 and for carpo metacarpal joint you need to report 26070 and for metacarpo phalangeal joint each you need to report 26075 And for interphalangeal joint, you need to report two six zero eight zero. For orthotomy of hip with drainage, you need to report two seven zero three zero. And for orthotomy of hip, including exploration or removal of loose or foreign body, you need to report two seven zero three three. In case of hip joint, there are two CPTs. Different CPTs to treat drainage and exploration and removal. Usually, all three are included. Next, coming to knee joint, orthotomy of knee joint, the CPT is two seven three one zero, and for orthotomy of ankle joint, the CPT is two seven six one zero, and for orthotomy of ankle with posterior capsule capsula release with or without Achilles tendon lengthening, the CPT is two seven six one two. and for intertarsal orthotomy of intertarsal or tarso metatarsal joint the cpt is 28020 and for orthotomy of metatarso phalangeal joint the cpt is 28022 double two and for interphalangeal joint the cpt is 28024 these are the various cpts of orthotomy of various joints that are covered from head to foot in the musculoskeletal region now coming to tenotomy tenotomy is nothing but surgical cutting of a tendon otomy means cutting or incision so tenotomy means surgical cutting of tendon so what is tendon a tendon is a white fibrous cord of dense regular connective tissue that attaches muscle to bone the function of tendon is to attach muscle to bone so tendon is a white fibrous cord of dense regular connective tissue that attaches muscle to bone now coming to the cpts of tenotomy the first one is incision extensor tendon sheet wrist in order to treat decurvian disease the cpt is 2500 and for incision flexor tendon sheet wrist For example, flexor carpi radialis, the CPT is two five double zero one. And for tendon sheet incision, in order to treat trigger finger, so the trigger finger CPT is two six zero five five. Whenever trigger finger is treated by using tendon sheet incision, you need to report two six zero double five. Next, tenotomy percutaneous single each digit. You need to report two six zero six zero, and for tenotomy abduct adductor hip percutaneous, you need to report two seven triple zero, and for tenotomy adductor hip open, you need to report two seven double zero one, and for tenotomy adductor subcutaneous open with orbitator neurectomy, you need to report two seven double zero three. And for tenotomy hip flexor open, you need to report two seven double zero five. And for tenotomy abductors and or extensors of hip open, you need to report two seven double zero six. And for tenotomy percutaneous adductor or hamstring single tendon, you need to report two seven three zero six. and for tenotomy percutaneous adductor or hamstring multiple tendons you need to report 27307 the next is tenotomy percutaneous achilles tendon with the local anesthesia you need to report 27605 and for tenotomy percutaneous achilles tendon general anesthesia you need to report 27606 and for tenotomy percutaneous toe single tendon you need to report 28010 and for multiple tendons you need to report 28011 double one these are the various tenotomy cpts of various joints now coming to fasciotomy 
Spaciotomy is nothing but a surgery to relieve swelling and pressure in a compartment of the body. The tissue that surrounds the area is cut open to relieve the pressure. Spaciotomy is performed to relieve swelling and pressure in a compartment of the body. And the tissue that surrounds the area which has swelling or pressure is cut open to relieve the pressure. So, in simple words, surgical removal of fascia is nothing but fasciotomy. So, what is fascia? It is a large connective tissue sheet that wraps around a group of muscles. Fascia is a large connective tissue sheet that wraps around a group of muscles. Now, coming to the various CPTs of fasciotomy. First is forearm or wrist, flexor or extensor compartment. The CPT with the debride, without debridement is 25020 and with debridement it is 25023. And for forearm and wrist, previously it was or, now it is forearm and wrist, flexor or extensor compartment. Without debridement the CPT is 25024 and with debridement the CPT is 25025. The next is decompression. Decompression fasciotomy hand. The CPT is 26037. And for decompression, finger and hand and or hand injection injury. That is in order to treat grease gun. The CPT is 26035. Decompression fasciotomy of hand is given by 26037. Whereas decompression fasciotomy fingers or hand to treat injection injury it is given by 26035. And for decompression fasciotomy palmar, in order to treat duprintine contracture, the CPT is 26040. And for palmar open or partial fasciotomy, the CPT is 26045. Hip or thigh, any type fasciotomy, hip, hip or thigh, any type, it is given by 27025. And decompression fasciotomy pelvic button compa buttock compartment it is given by 27027 and for fasciotomy iliotibial open this includes stenotomy also fasciotomy iliotibial open the cpt is 27305 the next is decompression fasciotomy leg anterior and or lateral compartments the cpt with Without debridement is 27600 and with debridement it is 27892. And for decompression fasciotomy leg posterior compartment without debridement CPT is 27601 and with the debridement it is 27892. Next is decompression fasciotomy leg anterior and or lateral and posterior compartment. That is all three compartments if they are performed. The CPT without debridement is 27602 and with the debridement it is 27894. And finally the fasciotomy of foot and or toe CPT is 28008. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on CPC training and medical coding.